Hi, this is John with the Honest Water Filter Company, and welcome to the evolution of water treatment. Today, I'm here to guide you through the essential information about water quality, water treatment, and our approach to residential water treatment solutions. At Honest Water, we think it's a plumber who is the appropriate person to be talking to the homeowner about this $4.2 billion industry. After all, who better to provide solutions to what the water broke than the plumber that the homeowner called to fix it? But let's start at the beginning, and I mean the very beginning. Did you know that the water we use today is the same water that dinosaurs used millions of years ago? For millions and millions of years, the earth would simply recycle the water. Water would evaporate into the clouds and come down as rain or snow. It's called the water or hydrological cycle, and the water was simply recycled over and over. At that time, the soil was able to filter out any contaminants that may have been picked up. People and animals were able to drink from lakes, streams, rivers, and brooks. This was sufficient for millions of years until the world started to develop. As society progressed, pollutants found their way into the soil. Whether it was agriculture in the 1700s or the Industrial Revolution in the 1800s, the soil was picking up more and more contaminants. With all this progress came more and more pollution. In the 1900s, we had amazing advances in the medical industry. But this only added to the contaminants which left pharmaceuticals, radiologicals, and other forever contaminants in the soil. So now when the rain and snow comes down and hits the soil, it is unable to filter out these contaminants. This makes the water purification process more challenging. This also forces municipalities to go through a rigorous process to take the water from their source and create safe and healthy water for their customers. But their biggest challenge is when they release the treated water into a distribution system that is known to be broken. These broken pipes would allow contaminants into the water, so starting in the early 1900s, municipalities started putting a disinfectant in the water to protect it from some of the most dangerous contaminants, microbiological. The challenge that they have is walking a balance of putting enough disinfectant to protect the water, but not kill the people. Think about a banana. If I were to hand you a banana, most people would peel that banana to expose the fruit and eat it. So what is the purpose of the peel? To protect the fruit until it is ready to be eaten. The same can be said for the disinfectant in the water. It's designed to protect the water on its journey to your house, but is also designed so that it can be easily removed. And that's our job. We have an obligation to assure our customers are educated and aware of the different solutions they have to choose from. Honest Water has spent over four years perfecting cartridge filtration systems for the residential plumber. It's very, very simple. We took commercial products and adapted them for residential use. Our success stems from innovative cartridge technology that significantly expands filtration capacity. About six years ago, our CEO and founder, Eric Brockmeyer, was introduced to game-changing cartridge technology that expanded the capacity of these cartridges exponentially. If you go back, let's say, five or ten years ago, when you went to any food service organization or maybe a commercial convention hall or hotel, they all protect their equipment with cartridge filtration. They use cartridges for the performance, but they also employ a maintenance company to come out and swap those cartridges out every two or three months. They did that because cartridges allow for a much higher performance and are more efficient, but historically, they don't last as long. When Eric was introduced to the technology where we were getting the high level of performance expected from a cartridge, but also getting hundreds of thousands of gallons of capacity, we knew that we had a product that could easily transition to the residential market. And we wanted to do it with plumbers. So we are bringing commercial grade performance into the residential market. In order to do that, we had to come up with a program that would allow plumbers to understand the simplicity and flexibility of the product and not be intimidated by bringing up water quality while in the home. So we've created a very simple program for plumbers to follow. There are only two things that you need to protect in the house from what's in the water, the people and the equipment. 
And believe it or not, you only have to address three areas of water to accomplish this. Physical contaminants, which by the way include microbiologicals, chemical contaminants, which include intentional chemicals like chlorine, as well as unintentional chemical contaminants. Things like herbicides, pesticides, pharmaceuticals, and heavy metals. And finally, the third concern we need to address in water is minerals. Excessive minerals create scale, which diminishes the lifespan of equipment. We call it hard water. Anything over seven grains is considered hard water, so in most areas of the country, a little attention to the minerals in the water would benefit the equipment. What many people don't realize is that minerals don't really affect human beings. Physiologically, we need the minerals that are in the water. As an example, if you ever took vitamins, it usually says vitamins and minerals. So there is no need to remove the minerals from the water if we don't have to. What we want to do is prevent the scaling that occurs. So if we could have one solution that addresses all three of these contaminants, you're well ahead of the game. But more importantly, if you have a solution that could be a standalone POE or point of entry solution, or be coupled with other pieces of equipment to enhance the system, then you've got the best product on the market. At Honest Water Filter, we understand the plumbing industry. We have been training and coaching plumbers for decades. We sold and trained plumbers on traditional carbon tanks and softeners for years. So we know we have a better product now. Our product will provide you a physical filtration level that you can actually measure. Many water treatment products don't even claim a micron level because they can't. You have to measure what you're filtering in microns. If you look at this spectrum, traditional equipment with media will normally give you anywhere between 50 and 100 microns of filtration, but it's simply by accident. It will pick out the big stuff, which is great, but if we can do better, we should. Our entry-level silver system will filter at 5 microns, which is at least 10 times better than most other filters. We have an upgradable pre-filter called an ultra-filter that will filter down to 0.015 of a micron. On this spectrum, you'll see that goes all the way down to the viral level, and it's one step below reverse osmosis. So when we're talking about that first piece of the pie, it's essential to know what micron level of filtration you are getting. In our experience, most plumbers are in municipally fed homes, so the chemical reduction of your solution is critical and should be your top priority. We already know what's in the water because every municipality produces an annual water quality report. This makes providing a water treatment solution very simple because we know what's in the water. The chemicals are usually what you smell and taste, and that's what your customers are trying to correct when they install an RO system or use bottled water. So we should be addressing the chemicals in the water at the point of entry so every tap in the home provides crisp, clean, safe water. It's widely accepted that to remove chemicals from water, which includes chlorine and chloramine and all the other things that are listed, you have to use carbon. But what many people don't realize is there are two primary forms of carbon in water treatment. If you've done water treatment, you're familiar with loose granulated carbon, but did you know that there's a second way to use carbon? It's called block carbon. The main difference between block and loose carbon is the form. With block carbon, you can take the carbon and press it down and then bake it. This allows you to use more carbon in a smaller vessel. As an example, in most traditional carbon tanks for a normal home, you would put anywhere between one and two cubic feet of carbon in the tank. With our silver system, which is the entry level whole house system, we actually have a little over two cubic feet of carbon in each cartridge. So the system you're looking at here is our typical system sold in most homes, and it's providing 4.25 cubic feet of carbon. I think you would agree that 4.25 cubic feet of carbon is going to remove more chemicals and more chlorine than one or one and a half to two cubic feet of loose granulated carbon in traditional systems. Carbon block has more surface area, so the water has significantly more contact time with the carbon. This allows for more reduction and higher performance. 
When you compare the actual performance of loose granulated carbon with a carbon block, this graph is a great resource. We actually borrowed this from a carbon manufacturer's website, and what they're trying to do is compare their carbon with three other types of activated carbon. But what is interesting is the number of gallons. You'll notice that after installation, everybody is right around 100% chlorine removal. But very quickly, after just 10,000 gallons, they drop to 69%. 10,000 gallons is about four to five weeks in a normal household. What they're saying is they have a rapid drop in the first month, and then it flattens out and drops more consistently. When NSF certified the Honest Water Filter cartridges, they used a baseline of four parts per million chlorine in water that was 20 grains hard. At the time, the highest performing product with a certification had a capacity of only 60,000 gallons. NSF told us that our systems were removing all of the chlorine all the way out to 450,000 gallons, and when we reached 530,000 gallons, we terminated the testing because we were so far ahead of the closest competing product. It's almost like comparing apples and oranges when you're talking about chemical removal. We have the most efficient certified product on the market for the removal of chemicals. So targeting homes on municipal water is our low-hanging fruit. To briefly recap, for physicals, you have to measure in microns. For chemicals, you have to use carbon, and more is better. The last area we want to address is minerals. In most areas in North America, a softener is considered to be the most efficient piece of equipment to address hard water, and we would agree. The challenge is that there are some disadvantages to using a softener. Whether it's a maintenance, the wasted water, or the way the water feels, not all customers are candidates for a softener. That's why you need a proven alternative to offer to your customers. At Honest Water, we use the exact same process that's been used for probably 80 or 90 years not only in the food service industry, but in commercial, industrial, and even your municipality, and that is polyphosphates. As we showed you earlier, cartridges are prevalent on the commercial side, and they have been used to introduce polyphosphates into a system for decades. If a residential plumber has not used cartridges very often in their career, they might not be familiar with how polyphosphates work. Fortunately, the way they work is very simple. They prevent minerals from scaling. If you think about hard water's biggest challenge is that it produces scale. If we can stop the scaling, we can protect the equipment. Here is a great example. You may have heard of the commercial coffee provider Bun. Well, they used our products, but before they would give us that business, we had to prove to them that our product worked better than the 3M product they were currently using. So they sent us three commercial coffee makers, and we ran water through all three of these machines every day for 12 months. Now this test was conducted at our manufacturing facility in Temecula, California, where their water is approximately 20 grains hard. So the first machine had no cartridges, just ran straight tap water. The middle machine had their current 3M product, and the last machine had the Honest Water Filter product. We ran water through these machines every day for 12 months. After 12 months, this is what the inside of those coffee machines looked like. Upon closer inspection, you can see a significant amount of scale was created in just 12 months. This is why water heaters are so heavy coming out. The middle picture is a 3M product, and quite frankly, it did a really good job. But the picture on the right is how much scale was created with the Honest Water Filter products. We believe that if we can do better, we should. So when we're talking about the three areas of contaminants in water, our filter systems provide a measurable level of filtration anywhere from 5 microns all the way down to 0.015. We provide the best chlorine reduction product in the residential market, proven by our NSF certification and over two cubic feet of carbon in each cartridge. When addressing minerals, you can order our cartridges with polyphosphates as an alternative to a softener or order our cartridges without polyphosphates and put them in front of a softener. 
this would actually extend the life of the softener because we would be removing all the physicals and chemicals in the water. When it comes to working with the Honest Water Filter System, we want you to have peace of mind and confidence in knowing that you're providing a product that is simple, flexible, and most importantly, easy to explain. We look forward to the next time we talk and wish you the best of luck in the field. Thank you again for your time and make it a great day.